2000. In this uh, I don't know. That's it's hard. To, we need some scales, but in the viewers, how much is how much how much sugar is that in there? I reckon grams? it's about 500 grams. Nah, so that's 2,100 calories. Nah, it's, I don't think it's 500. I reckon it's maybe 380. I reckon 380. Either way, it'll be enough to get you up the Dointonon. So today I'm seeing if I can ride a 400 dollar bike up the Dointonon. Toys set in the watts. Let's do it. I don't know man, I reckon ride a bike, not a fucking elephant. Wow. These elephant camps are just prison camps essentially, unfortunately. It's fucking switchback after switchback. It's hot man. Dripping. This is for some protections jacket. Whew. See my nose just dripping. <laughs> almost reached, almost reached the top of the first climb. Tori is just behind me. She's about 45 seconds behind me. Just giving a little bit of time to just chill. She's doing so well though. She's a fucking beast. And she's full natty bra. And the caffeine, the hormones and steroids. Free range, organic. Just doing so good, just carving up, listening to Do Not As Orders. I think the secret is if guys, or girls as well, if you don't want to get your girlfriend or boyfriend in cycling, just make it fun for them. Give them a lot of praise, correct them when they make a mistake, but do it in a way that it's fun and just learn as you go. If you make it too hard, you can make your terrain hard, but don't make it hard on them emotionally. Reward them, make it fun, and make sure you use a power meter so you can keep the pace just sustainable. If you go out there banging out 300, 400 watts, no one's going to want to train with you unless you're unless they're a pro. So you just you know let them set the pace behind you or in front of you. But make sure you try and change gears. Make sure you make sure the power is sustainable. You know, like if they, if you're if you're on 200 watts and they're off the front on 300 or 400 watts, just say hey, slow down a bit, slow down a bit. You know, because otherwise they're just going to cook themselves. They're going to produce a lactate, and it's not going to be that much fun. So the secret is when you make something fun, you take care of motivation. And make it easy, make it fun, make it adventurous, and uh, carve the fuck up. So hydrated all day, baby, all day. When you get to this crossroads here, you turn left. Turn left. This guy's going straight, you gotta go left. Go left, go left. Left to Dointon on, left at the stop sign. Left at the blue sign. Down the hill, down the hill. So you're coming up this hill, and you're gonna turn down left down there towards the blue sign. Down the hill, down the hill, all right? A lot of people come up here, into non. They don't go down there. They go up here. That takes you to like this little like dead ends, hill track, trail. So if you want some adventure, then yeah, check it out. Vegard's gone up there. But to get into non, you gotta go this way. All right, remember that. That's the hot tip, backslide into non. Turn left at the crossroad. We're so high up in the mountains. We've got persimmons growing here. Check this out, Clint. Oh, that's right. Wow, it's my first Thai persimmon. 
my first tie of persimmon. Ah. Oh, I feel like my face is like Fabio Aru. Astringent. Oh. oh. You get two types of persimmons, astringent like that, and non-astringent. Oh. Serves me right for stealing someone's fruit. Ah, it's just an abandoned lot, that one. Oh, give me some sugar water. Shit. Ah, that's better. That's better. This cool little house. Check this out. Steep, man. Camera doesn't do it justice. It's a waterfall up there. This is a nice little steep. This is too steep for the Tour de France even. Almost. Tori's just a little bit behind me. Not too far back. How's the little legs, Tori? So tired. Little tired little legs. Tired little cat legs. Elevation to the top of Dwayne's man. <sighs> Fucking a lot. Oh man. This is a beast. Tori's just up in front of me. Fucking crushing it, man. Oh, she had some easy gears. I got the 30, 32. Oh, but uh, man, she's a beast. This is the longest ride of her life, plus the longest climb she's ever done, plus the steepest climb she's ever done. And she's fucking crushing the watts still. How's that, Troy? How was that? Into non dusted, done and dusted. I'm Hot. happy. Yeah. Do some so motorbike. Yeah. yeah, it is pretty nippy. I can't even say much. I'm so tired. Good. We'll get a few shots and then we'll head to hit the descent. So we are the highest spot in Thailand. 2565. The Reed. The 400 dollar bike did it. Highest spot in Thailand. Done and dusted. There you go.
It's a supermodel. Highest spot in Thailand. Here we go. Smile. Are you taking a photo or a video? I'll do it in the video. Here's the bike. Here's the legs. That's the face. Here we go. Done and dusted. Good work. Hey, how do you feel? Good. During it, I felt like death. No, I nah, just, you, you've been doing like pretty good. Tired. Yeah, that's normal. And it's hard to drink enough sugar while riding on the steep bits because I just have to concentrate on holding the animals. You did very well, very well. But it was fun. Glad good. we did it. All right, it's time to hit the downhills. I'm gonna say, can you take a photo? Yeah. My new cycling jersey's just arrived. It's called the Grease Rag. <laughs> That's how cold Troy was. It's a little grease rag down the hill. It's a nice little spot for a snack. We are having some little salties and some Sprite. Troy's just over there, so we're having a piss. Just stopping for a little snack here. It's a waterfall over there. I'm sure you can see that. The sun glare. It's that waterfall. And now it's hot as... <laughs> I was cold before. Really? Yes! Like how Don't warm is it now though? Me. What's that? Don't film me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right here. But yeah, it's so warm now. That's what I love about Thailand. It's like one minute you're freezing, next I was minute you're hot. I'm so Yeah. And now I'm taking all my clothes off. Okay, we'll cut the camera now then. <laughs> yeah, do it. I'm going to unzip. Chuck it. The reed. The Osprey flew Volta, didn't you? Good little bike. It's God's country out here. God's country. Go past. Tori's getting ready. The dusk is coming and we've got some light options here. We've got the, uh, what's this one? This is the Knight Rider Sentia 150. We've got a little Mac, we've got, it's got some exposure lights here. We've got the joystick and we've got a Bontrager, the old classic Bontrager Flare R, which I'll be selecting for myself. Tori's light of choice is that one and a little one for her helmet as well. Safe, be safe, be seen. It's a beautiful day. So I'm going to have another piss. You piss like a fucking camel. Let's do it, bubs. Yep. Oh. Firefly. Huh? Like a little firefly. Huh? Like a little firefly. was getting bugs. <laughs> the light was in her getting bugs in her eyes. So now she's going to put it on. What side do I put it on? Put it um, very easy if you put the bracket on first. Indie pack training. Yeah, it does. There you go. Just stretch it out. That's it. Open that right up. Stretch it right out. That's it. Boom. Yep. Come on. I don't, I don't inject any steroids for nothing. There you go. Oh no. That's right. So I'll show you stretch you it. Hmm. Stretch it like that. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Kelly muscle. Dingo. Did you do it? Is it on? It's only half on. No. 
Oh. Now I've been the dodge mechanic today, haven't I? Yeah. Tori actually ended up doing that. We deploy a new mechanic. Oh, we'll dim it down a bit just so we've got the max battery life. I'm not sure how much K's we got left. We have 70. I mean, not hours, so if we get a flat tire or, you know, if we're going to ration out the, uh, the goodness. Yeah. My oh, we'll, we'll armor dies. All today I've been sending little yam, yam lice seeds all on the road. It's lamby ice season. We'll plant this little one. There you go, little buddy. Back home. Is this near the elephant soon? Yeah, it is. <laughs> He's so cute. This is the lamby eye. Beautiful. We're just going to eat a couple. Hopefully the farm doesn't mind too much. Just on the side of the road here. What's this little face? Yes. Oh, tiger. It's tiger, tiger lamby eye. Just notice these are all falling on the ground. So these ones aren't getting picked. So it's a matter of case of just eat what you want because they're so big and they're so ripe. They've normally been picked earlier before that. So free organic lamby eye. Ah, beautiful.